In this lecture, we are starting our project of building a simple NFT contract with Hardhat, OpenZeppelin, and deploying to a local blockchain. To get started, we have to build a new Hardhat project. So go to your terminal or command line application and create a new folder such as hello hard hat. Then cd into the hard hat folder where currently you can use ls or dir to see we have no contents. We're going to use npm init to start a new node project and we can hit enter through all of the data. Then if you list out your contents, you'll see you have a package.json file with that data. We're going to use npm install to install the hard hat package into this project. It will be locally installed, so you'll likely have to refer to it as npx hard hat rather than just hard hat. You have to use npx hard hat or you can install hard hat globally. Once you run the command hard hat, you'll be prompted here. Welcome to hard hat 2.7.1. What do you want to do? Do you want to create a basic sample project, an advanced sample project, an advanced sample project with TypeScript, create an empty hard hat configuration file, or quit? For this project, we are going to create an empty hard hat configuration file. So hit enter, and then the configuration file will be created. You'll have hardhat.config.js. You will also have node modules and your package.json file. Let's take a look at this project in a code editor. Here I have opened up the project with Visual Studio Code. We have our node modules, which contains all of our dependencies. We have hardhat.config.js. In here we have a module export where we are exporting the version of Solidity used for the project. By default, Hardhat will select its best compatible Solidity version, but you can change this to use your own Solidity version. Just note that you might not get all of the features of Hardhat if you're not using their best, com best compatible version of Solidity, but you can still choose whatever one you want. And if you find you're having problems, you can downgrade the version of Solidity. We also have package lock, which is just a locked version of package.json. Here, this contains the data about the node project, like the name, version, description, the main file, any scripts, the author, the license, and the dependencies. In this case, we just have the one dependency. Now that we've built out our bare bones hard hat project, our next step is going to be to build a NFT contract with Solidity. So join me in the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.